How Angel Di Maria Used Man United Fans Anger to Inspire PSG Victory The French champions have not progressed past the last 16 of the Champions League the last two seasons but are superbly poised after a terrific 2-0 win at Old Trafford. Thomas Tunchell's side began slowly, comfortable in their game plan to frustrate Manchester United with Thago Silva and Mark Hinho's touch tight to Marcus Rashford and Paul Pogba respectively. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side was unable to unpick the Parisian luck and paid for it in the second half as two goals in seven minutes from Presnel Kimpemba and Kyle Mbappé sealed the first leg and, most probably, the tie for PSG. Instrumental to both goals was Di Maria, who was playing at Old Trafford for the first time since he acrimoniously departed United in August 2015. United usually receive former players well. But Di Maria's return was met with mystery, such was the Argentinian's initial reluctance to leave Real Madrid for United in 2014, as well as his ill-fated spell. The pot was stirred before the match when Di Maria told France Blue, I only stayed one year, it was not the best time of my career, or rather I was not allowed to spend my best time. There were complications with the coach of the time. But thank God. I was able to come to PSG and demonstrate again who I was. Di Maria struggled under Louis van Gaal, who ended up playing the pound 59.7 million signing in six different positions during the 2014-15 campaign. The most sturdy shoehorn could not have found a place for the winger to flourish, however, as he cut a forlorn figure for the duration of his stay, scoring just four goals in 32 appearances. Midway through his Manchester stint, Di Maria's home was the scene of an attempted burglary, but it was he who robbed United the chance of a quarter-final spot on Tuesday night. As soon as the spindly flanker stepped off the team coach he was met with a chorus of jeers and boos, setting the tone for the evening. Even when the 30-year-old was unnecessarily body-checked by Ashley Young, sending him flying down Old Trafford's steep touchline into the hoardings, there was no sympathy from the home crowd. Don't think you'll need a professional lip reader to decipher what Angel Di Maria shouted at the United fans during the goal celebrations pick.twitter.com slash milk 0 jxsp Di Maria egged on the negative reception, cupping his ear throughout and urging for more abuse, as if it was lighter fluid. And the PSG attacker ignited the tie in the 53rd minute when he whipped in a corner which met Kimpemb, who cushioned a volley home. Wild celebrations broke out in front of the 4,000 strong traveling contingent, as Di Maria went on to shout aggressively towards the home fans. It appears that the Argentinian said F off putas, whores, reveling in his sweet revenge. A beer bottle was thrown his way as he prepared to take a corner soon after, and Di Maria simply laughed off the meager attempt of intimidation, feigning a swig. For an athletic player like Di Maria. The adrenaline pumping through his veins only catalyzed his impact, and his best moment of the game led to PSG's second. Unmarked on the left wing, Di Maria was slid the ball and drove at Young, who this time could not get away with a cheeky shove, as he zipped a pinpoint cross into the path of superstar Mbapp, who passed home. Celebrations were not tame once more and Tuchel gave Di Maria the chance to absorb the abuse he lived off 81 minutes in when he was substituted to, at this point, humbled vitriol. As United pray for a miracle in the second leg, Solskjaer will be asking himself, how do you solve a problem like Di Maria?